So guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this brush right here, I ordered off of Amazon. I will have the link for people that want to look more into this or possibly order it. But the reason I'm putting the link in there is more of a warning that this brush is not as good as it claims to be. Obviously, there's going to be some five star reviews, which I think are fake. I read a lot of them on Amazon. They didn't seem real. And what I normally do is I go to the three star, the two star and the four star reviews. And those tend to really tell you the, the details about this brush. But anyway, it actually supposed to shoot out a mist, which it's more so. Matter of fact, I'm just going to leave that with the unboxing. Anyway, let's get right into this video. Uh, it does have a charger, USB, uh, micro USB. After 30 minutes, the full charge. After five minutes of using it, it'll shut off on its own. So, you know, it's it has a safety mechanism. But we're going to talk about why this is below average, in my opinion. So let's get right into the video. So first things first, timestamps for those that want to see the video. As um, soon as you take this out of the box, I don't remember if it even had a case or instructions for it because my wife was the original one to use it. We actually used this before I actually decided to review the product. So right here on the top of the brush, you have the micro USB right here. Um, you can use any micro USB if you want to. These are the coils right here for rubbing the cat and getting the hair off. Now, I want you to keep in mind, because these are so spaced out the way these are, they don't really do a good job of catching hair, in my opinion. I'm going to show you guys. Um, unfortunately, I only did one example. We washed our cat yesterday and then scrubbed her, not scrubbed her, but used this mist thing, and the hair came off with no problem. But when she's dry, uh, the mist does, just doesn't work really that well. Then the mister comes out right here, just in case you guys are wondering. If you flip this lid right here, this is where you actually fill in the water. So make sure this is sealed because if it's not sealed properly, you're going to have some leakage if you flip it upside down. And of course, you're going to actually press this button in. And then as you can see, that's missed. I don't know if you can see it when it shot out a little bit. That's just whatever that was remaining inside of this. Now, I also want you guys to understand that um, the, you have to have warm water already in here because it just shoots out a mist of whatever temperature water is currently in the brush. Now, with that being said, again, your cat's going to get very saturated, in my opinion. Um, I scrubbed my cat a couple times, not scrubbed her, but brushed her. She liked the brushing feeling. She was purring. But by the time I was done, she was extremely, uh, her fur was extremely wet. And it was like, they're kind of taking a bath. And some animals, in my opinion, are not going to like that, especially if it's not gripping up any hair. That's the whole point. And this doesn't do a good job. The steamer brushes do a much better job. But for the price tag, was it like $10 or something? You know, it's it's to be expected to have minimal, uh, minimal performance. Anyway, let's go into the next section so I can show you in real time. All right, guys. So here's the cat right here. Luna's feeling a little underneath the weather. Here is the actual device. So you press this button. I want to show you. The steam comes out on the bottom. So all you got to do is just take your cat. Just brush her. See? There you go. Just brush her. Now, Luna, we got to take her to the doctor. She had a flaky issue where <laughs> she had a lot of flakes on her. And she was a little sick. So that's why there's uh, little little bits of um, flavor crystals on the couch. But it is what it is. And as you can see, it does wet the hair. And obviously, you want this warmer, of course. And then you just take a look at it. And really, it's supposed to pick up the hair. But if I'm being honest with you, it doesn't really do a, a great, great job of that, if we're being honest. Plus, I did uh, actually use this earlier on her when she was washed. We had to wash her entire body down. And she smelled like urine. Unfortunately, she had an issue where we had to give her some medicine so she can release her bladder. So, you know, we had to constantly keep her uh, washed. But, I mean, I do notice this. It's, it's, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. Though she does feel damp right now. And to be honest, like I said before, it doesn't really seem like it's doing the job that it's supposed to do. I guess, yeah, it's not really doing it. Let's take a look. So there is some hair right here. Not that much, if we're being honest here. Um, I've used this multiple times, and I can honestly say that it doesn't quite do the job that it's supposed to do. Though you're supposed to use warm water. So that mist will feel warm against their skin, wetting it so you can get anything loose. But with these teeth, the way that it is, like I said, it's there, but it doesn't pick up as much as uh, 
what it shows. Now, of course, you also have to have a cat that has longer hair than Luna. And then we also have Kirby right here, but she's not really shedding. That's the kitten. For anyone that was familiar with the channel, I posted her as a short one time. That's the kitten. But yeah, it works. It does work. But mm, not at the degree that the picture shows. Because we have other pet, these little pet things where the teeth is smaller and it releases heat right here to uh, wet the cat. And um, it picked up a lot more hair. I think this teeth are just too far apart in my opinion. But, you know, I could be wrong about that. So like I said before, is this product actually worth it? Personally, I, I'm going to say no because there's better products out there. But let me give you some of the good aspects about it before because some people just skip to this part. Like I said before, mist comes out of this. It does not heat up. You have to make sure that the water is either warm or hot already. And then it's going to shoot out the mist. Obviously not boiling because you don't want to burn any animal. But just make sure it's like hot water or warm water. And when the mist comes out, it does not come out extremely hot because it's in its mist form. Um, the brush does pick up hair. As you can see here, even in this video, it had hair already in it. This is the remainder of hair. And if you see the flakes and disgustingness, it's because my cat, I don't know if she has a condition or something, but we got to take her to the vet and see what we can do about some ointment because she doesn't clean herself. Like this is the most filthy cat I've ever had in my entire life as regretful as sometimes is you never know what you get in animals. You can still love them, but they're disgusting. Some of them. And this is the reason why we bought this is because to, to clean her up. Like I have the cat thing where you're supposed to get lice out of them. Rally, we use that to get the uh, flakes out of her. It's an issue like it's becoming a huge problem and I figured that this would work well and honestly it didn't work that well. Now I did try this on a longer haired cat and the hair came right out. As a matter of fact it was all fuzzy right here and it did exactly what the picture showed and then uh, unfortunately you have to wait until the actual brush dries in order to get the hair out. Normally, you know, they make it seem like it's just a layer of hair and you just peel it right off. No, no, that's with the good steamer brushes. This is a cheap one for like 10 bucks on Amazon. And quite frankly, even though it does the job and it's dedicated to the cat, and all I got to do is like kind of rinse it off and keep going. They should have had a protector over this to protect it. I don't know why they didn't protect the charger port. All it took was a little drill hole and you push the little piece inside and then it'll be fully waterproof. But for whatever reason, they decided not to do that. Very lazy design. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't consciously suggest this product to someone that's looking to clean up the cat. It just doesn't quite live up to the hype. In my opinion, if you did buy this, I think some people would find use for it because of the mist wet in certain areas and wiping cat hair up. Like I tried it on a couch. It actually worked very well when I uh, had the mist on the couch, scrub the couch. And the remainder here did gather up into the brush. So I do use it for multiple reasons. That's not what it's for, though. But hey, listen, I wasted money and I'm going to get my money's worth. <laughs> anyway, like and subscribe like always. And I will see you all in the next video.